shocked that he's making headlines in this manner. He became known as the pregnant man, and now Thomas Beatty is back in the valley and back in the spotlight because of a court case like no other. ABC 15's Christopher Sign is live in our newsroom to explain this one tonight. And Chris, uh, this could very well be one of the most confusing divorce battle attorneys have ever seen out there. No question about that, Katie. And it could also set precedent. And as I found, even seasoned lawyers see this as a learning opportunity. At issue here, is Thomas Beatty's marriage valid? Well, apparently in Hawaii, where he's from, they say yes, because he's now a man. But a Phoenix judge says he's not quite sure. He's been somewhat devastated because he's being told he's not a real person anymore. Thomas Beatty shared his story of going from female to male and giving birth. After legally becoming a man, he married Nancy, and Thomas now wants a divorce. But that's a problem. We're fighting for Thomas's validation. It's a valid marriage. He's a valid male. He's a valid person. And that's what this fight is all about. Beatty's attorney, David Michael Cantor, finds himself going down an unknown legal path. I would say in Arizona, actually, this is new territory. Hawaii said this was OK and it's a valid marriage. Who is Arizona to say, well, we're going to ignore one of the other 49 states and say this is not a valid marriage. A Phoenix judge now wants to know if the marriage is real because Thomas has childbearing organs, but legally is a man, complete with a new birth certificate, social security number, and passport. But not a marriage license, and that's the crux of this case. Thomas declined my interview request, and here's something interesting. If his marriage is not valid, he doesn't have to pay spousal maintenance. Mm -hmm. He actually financially does better if the marriage is invalidated. He doesn't want that. The judge is expected to rule later this month. Christopher Sign, ABC 15 News.